Hello everybody, this is Fronito Bobbin here, and welcome back to Train Simulator 2, where today we'll be taking a look at the recently released California Sunrise route. Yeah, even though Train Simulator 3 is here, they're still making new content for Train Simulator 2 for some reason. I have no idea why, but they are, so here we are, taking a look at a recent one. Yeah, I was originally going to look at the older ones first and then get to the more recent ones, but... Seems like you guys don't really care much for the older stuff, so here it is. We're taking a look at a more recently released train similar to route, the California Sunrise Route, indeed. Located, obviously, in sunny California. And I actually do kind of know this route. Uh, this is the basic, this is probably a specific Surfliner route that uh, exists over in uh, Train Simulator Classic. And now here we get a very tiny version here in trains. Uh, so. Let's take a look at all of the content that I get here in the California Sunrise add-on here in Train Simulator 2. But before we do that, be sure to check out my Fiverr gig. Link is in the description. Alright, so starting off here, we have a very, very interesting unit. We have, for the first time in an official traits add-on, the Siemens Charger. Yes, we have the Amtrak Siemens Charger here in Trains Simulator 2. Specifically, the uh, Amtrak Pacific Surfliner version. It's even got the uh, the spoiler, so the train or so the local would line up better with the uh, what they Surfliner coach, although we haven't quite got the correct coach, because of course not. Uh, but I'll get to those in a second. But here it is, the Amtrak SC44 Charger here in Trains. This It's not the best model in the world. I like how this, this is actually like a recently uh, locomotive, a recent locomotive that entered service only a few years ago. I say a few years, it's been a while since 2016, but yeah, not too long ago this locomotive entered service, and yet this model looks like it came from the year 1997 or something. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, here it is, the, the, uh, Siemens Charger. I think actually this movie has an interior. It does. You can actually take a look at the inside of this locomotive again, just the right place. You can see the engine. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't actually look... And it's okay, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's about your... It's pretty typical for your trains to add on. It's not really that detailed or anything, but yeah, there you go. Let's take a look at the interior cab. Uh, ooh, cab is actually pretty nice. In fact, I think this cab is even... Okay, I don't know if this is for sure or not, but I think this cab might actually be specifically made for this locomotive. Yeah, look at that. They didn't They didn't take like a, look, a cab from a different engine. No, this cab is actually made specifically for this locomotive. It actually looks very nice. Not the best, but eh, it's alright. Yeah, cab of the Siemens Charger. Let's now blow the horn. Ah, oh, too bad the horn is wrong. Let's do the bell. Okay, it seems they took the uh, horn and bell sound from the uh, P42 look, which is not correct at all. Um, so horn and sounds, horn and bell sounds of the thing are wrong and easily could have been switched out for Bill Force, but there you go. Uh, there it is, the Siemens Charger. And of course it wouldn't be a passenger locomotive without some passenger coaches to pull, except they're the wrong coaches. Yeah, I have to be honest with you, these coaches are absolutely awful. Uh, these are supposed to be the Bombardier bi-level coaches. Uh, in the Amtrak Pacific Surfliner livery. However, they're not the right kind of coaches. They, now, the Amtrak Surfliner does use double-decker coaches in real life, and they do kind of look like these, but they don't have, like, the humps at the at the beginning of the end or anything. They just, it's it's a lot more like the, uh, the Superliner coaches, if you know what I mean. It's, yeah, it's, um, I don't, I don't know if, if, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why they decided to go with this. But here it is, the Amtrak Surfliner coaches, yay. Does it have an interior view? Okay, well, this has an interior view. And it's an interior view. Actually, it looks pretty all right. It's not bad. Wait. Oh, uh, is that train to California? The, I don't know what train that is. The something, I don't know. But, yeah. Cab of, or not the cab, the passenger view of the Bombardier by level coach. Oh, but things get even weirder. Here we are at the Bombardier level cab car in Amtrak Surfliner delivery, which is com the completely wrong cab car. And yes, the, now this cab car does exist in real life and it's used on certain railroads, but it's not used on the Amtrak Surfliner. Okay. Yeah, I have to say this though. 
why did they use this model? Why couldn't they just made a new one? I mean, they bothered to make a new Siemens Charger model, but for some reason they, they're like, we just use these coaches. It's, it's, no, it's not right. It's, and it, it looks stupid. Even though the wheel bogeys are like, we're like, what? Why? Why are we using these? That's, that They don't use that on coaches. It's, uh, so many things wrong with this. I don't know. Uh, do we have a, a passive view in this one? Okay, well, not a passive view, but we have a cab view. Uh, I mean, the cab view does at least look accurate for this uh, thing, I guess. This cab car, it's, even though it's not the right type of cab car. Uh, let's see. Horn. Yep, that's the horn. Oh, wow, they have an E bell for the cab car. Wow, okay, so the, uh, I'm, I'm not even sure if the real life cap car has an e-bell, but, yeah. Um, well, there you go, that is a bunch of stuff for the Amtrak Strip Flyer. I, uh, yeah, I don't think it's very good. I mean, I mean, okay, the look one was okay, but the coaches, just, no, I don't know what they did there. So, let's look at some rolling stuff in this world. That actually looks, uh, pretty alright. Let's go to the, uh, freight stuff. Uh, first up here, we have the Union Pacific GP35 locomotive. Yeah, and this one actually does look pretty good. I got a hand to the Barbers who made this. It does look pretty good indeed. Yes. So, cab view. Look at that. Even the cab view looks alright. Yeah. Nice cab view. Alright. Horn and Bell. Huh, the horn is quieter than the bell. Okay, but yeah, there you go. GP35. Oh, uh, so here we have the uh, B and SF Gunderson well car units. We have the uh, A and B cars. Uh, and by default, when you drop these cars into the world, they're just empty, but you can go into the properties and add loads like this. Look at that. We got the evergreen uh, container, and of course, this is what they look like when they're empty. But yeah, pretty cool cars there. Uh, let's get an XD on the view. Yeah, this was actually pretty well detailed there. Yeah, they did a pretty decent job with this. Alright, up next we have the BPRR Ford, <coughs> Ford Bay Hopper Cars. Uh, we have a, there, these are different versions, but we have this version, which is like the regular version, and then with this is supposed to be like a multi-version. I don't know what the difference is between these two, you guys got to tell me about it, but there you go, BPRR wagon here in this, I don't know, you're to Couple tanker cars up here. This is the CNW oil tanker. It says it's CNW in the thing, but it's actually got no logos on it. It's just all black for some reason. Up next, we have the Prox Blue 20800 tank car thingamajig. Get yeah, this thing, which actually, we actually looked at this in a uh, Train Simulator 3 add on not too long ago. I believe that was in the uh, Tidewater Point Rail. Well, here it is now in Train Simulator 2. Here in the California Sunrise route, so yeah, the second car might be included in, and in, same for some of these other rules. Like might be included in another add-ons here in Train Simulator too, but uh, we haven't looked at any of those yet. Uh, this is here is the forty-foot box car in the Southern Pacific livery. Yeah, this one doesn't look as good as the others. I think this is only an asset, but there you go. And finally, we have an auto rack, which has a very strange hitbox, but okay. Uh, the 89 foot auto rack in Union Pacific livery looks pretty nice. I gotta say nice looking asset Yeah, it's, it's, it's all right Look at the interior uh, interior is empty. I think you can load this up with cars though in the properties, but uh, Here it is the auto rack here in this. So that's all your freight and passenger stuff now we got a couple more locomotives to look at uh, first up is the DES General Electric U50 in this other Pacific livery. Yep, we got a U50 in this thing. With 16 wheels. Yeah. That's a lot of wheels, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think the uh, U Pacific look would have, or U Pacific version of this engine is actually all, already here in Train Simulator 2. But here is the Eastern Pacific version. Yeah. Cap view. Cap view looks alright. Yeah.
And of course, horn. Set for your horn. Oh, it's got this horn and bell set. Yeah, we actually we've actually heard this a couple times over in Train Simulator 3. Interesting. And finally, the Union Pacific uh, C30 W. This at um, uh, this this asset does not look as good though. Yeah, this one's a bit uh, it's a bit rubbish to be honest with you. This probably dates way back to like I don't know Train 2004 or something. Yeah, not the best looking asset here, but it's here, so yeah. Cab view, and it's a stock standard one. <laughs> yep, this is definitely an older asset here in this add-on. So, Horn and Bell, then. Oh, and even that's just the good old trains, Horn and Bell. Hurrah. Alright, well, that's all the, uh, everything you get here in terms of local ones and stock here in this route. So now let's take a look at the route itself, and, uh, it's not very big, actually. It's one of the... It's, yeah, this, uh, for some reason, I was expecting this route to be a lot longer, but now nah, this is all you get. This is the entire route. Not a very big one, to be honest with you. But I guess it at least looks nice, and we'll be able to see in closer detail once we get out on the road. So, speaking of which, let's now take a look at the scenarios and do some driving. All right, so here are all the uh, scenarios you get here in the uh, California Sunrise route. You get four prescriptive ones. You get the uh, coal loader. Uh, containers, surf liner, and tanker train. Yeah, but we're gonna be doing the surf liner one because why not? It's the Amtrak surf liner. We, we have to do it. <laughs> yes. Uh, so the description is today you'll be operating the surf liner train from La Bronita to Los Angeles. Stop at all the stations along the way and pick up the passengers. All right, let's get to it. And here we are. The Siemens Charger. We're actually starting off where we uh, started today, which is pretty neat. So yeah, I've decided to drive this locomotive because, I mean, how can we not? It's the Amtrak Surfliner. We, we just, it is a must. It is a requirement. I am contractually obligated to do this trip today. All right, so today you have the responsibility of operating the Amtrak Surfliner train, transporting passengers from La Bonita to Los Angeles. As you embark on this journey, uh, boarding, wait, as you... Oh, as you embark on this journey, remember to make safety stops at all the designated stations along the route. At each station, carefully manage the boarding process and endure comfort of the passengers, blah, 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 blah. Pay attention to the announcements. Ooh, we got announcements. Okay. And any special instructions provided by the station staff. Keep an eye on the time to maintain a punctual schedule, allowing passengers to reach their destinations on time. Your role is to not operate crew show, find smooth, blah, 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 blah. Thank you for... Driving the train, and best regards from the supervisor. All right, bit of a long message there, but yeah, okay, cool. All righty then, so, um, I'm clear to go now. What does it say? So the headlights, because why not? Yeah, that's the, uh, brights. Okay, can we go now? Uh, I, I guess so. All right. All right, power! Yes! All right, here we are. Oh yeah. So I guess this locomotive uh, has a few things that are derived from the uh, uh, from the P forty two locomotive, which is a bit wrong. Yeah, ironically though, the uh, the uh, Siemens Charger uh, was actually built to replace uh, the uh, P forty two locomotives on some Amtrak routes. Although in this case of the other the case of the uh, surfliner though, which replaced the uh, F fifty nine PHI units, uh, which have gone to Metro now, and now these do that service. Yeah, so don't worry, the F fifty nines. By the way, on Pacific, they're not gone forever. They're just they've just uh, yeah now they're working over in Chicago as opposed to here in uh, California. So. Um, Ironically, uh, we do actually have the uh, Amtrak F-59 PHI with the uh, bi-level coaches and the Amtrak Circle and delivery here in Train Simulator 2. Um, although I'm not sure if I'd recommend getting that at all, as it's not very good. Uh, but yeah, those look that have gone over to Metro, and Amtrak uses these now. 
I will say, yeah, the mauling on this one is pretty good, but the spoiler is a bit... Well, no, the spoiler looks good. It's just the problem is with the height of the coaches. It doesn't really match up because they used the wrong coaches. It looks stupid. Well, here we are. We're already arriving at our first stop of the dry year. I can't speak in this anymore. Okay, how slow are we going through here? What's this? What's the speed of it? We are going. Oh. Wait, it's 30. I was, I was going 30. Hmm. This is going a little bit too fast for the game to handle. That's looking wild, though. This definitely. I mean, look at these palm trees. This, yeah, this is California. Is this? Ooh, it's a stadium. What is this? Oh, it's a. Uh, uh, it's a stadium, all right. Don't know what stadium that is, but it is a stadium. Frame on this road is actually pretty good, although I am running this on an iPad Air 4, so I don't know how this road would perform if you're using a lower end device. Alrighty, um, no, looks like the road is after your XX is actually after the platform. That's a long train there. Wait, how many coats are we pulling? I'll pull about five, which I think is about standard for the uh, uh, Pacific Surf Liner. Okay, starts off at just the right place, and uh, yeah, seems like good braking at low speeds at least, so that's nice. And here we are. Oh, I got about to leave. I could buy Mr. Interest to with a very cursed cab car. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know I mentioned earlier, all oh, these surf lines are wrong. So you may be wondering, well, Fronty, why did you decide to drive the Amtrak surf liner? Because it's the Amtrak surf liner. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 hang on. Is this, this is trying to random numbers? Or the, oh, it's two, one. Oh, actually, see, this is locomotive two, one, two, three. We've got locomotive two, 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 seven. Two, 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 seven. Oh, we're ready to go. We're ready to go now? Alright, camera. I think we are. Yep. Alright, we're off. But yeah, I know this Amtrak Surf Liner train is kind of a pile of rubbish, but it's the Amtrak Surf Liner, man. I can't say no. Only thing is, I wish the. Uh, well, okay, first of all, with the uh, locomotive, I wish the sounds were more accurate to the real thing. And second of all, the coaches. What would have been so hard about just making the correct uh, coaches? Why do we have to use these things? Which I don't know. Now, okay, now these coaches do exist in real life, but they don't use them on the Amtrak surf on a surface. They do use them in California and other services, though. I believe these coaches also run on, or I say also, no, these coaches do run on coaster, um, and um, and uh, what's the other one? Metrolink. They do run on those services, which do run in California, but they don't run them on the uh, Amtrak Surfliner. That doesn't happen. Because I see slowly not comes with the red light, but the next up is right here, and he is right here anyway, so yeah. Also, I'm recording this video late at night time again, so if I'm stumbling over my words and sounding like a total idiot, that's why. But uh, unfortunately, this was really the only time of the day I could record this video. But uh, hopefully this video is at least entertaining enough for you. Okay, we'll go slow into here just because I don't want to overrun the station and everything, because, you know, that goes. Oh, really? British crossings? Come on. Yeah. Well, here we are at the next station. So you may be wondering why am I recording this video at late night then? Um, well, I mentioned this in a previous video, but yeah, my mom is uh, was, uh, watching TV. <laughs> and she's actually still up watching TV, but at least she's now got the uh, volume down low enough to where I can record this video. And you won't hear much of the TV in the background. Well, it's interesting that we're driving an Amtrak train because... 
Um, I just rode an Amtrak train in real life not too long ago. Yeah. Oh, and you know what's also hilarious? In I also drove an Amtrak train in just the last trains video. That was the uh, Train Simulator 3 uh, Summer Lake Pass video. Yeah. Which, oh my goodness, there's so many, there's so many irons going on. So yeah, just the last video, we actually drove the, uh, the, I say the last video, not, not the last video, but in the uh, most recent Train Simulator 3 video, we drove the Amtrak F40. Yeah. Yeah, now we're driving local two generations up. So yeah, we've gone from the F40 to the P42 to the Siemens Charger locomotives. Um... Yeah, so anyway, back to what I was saying before. So, um... I, as I mentioned in the, uh, in the Transmitter 2 video, or Transmitter 3 video uh, I uploaded a week ago, um... I had the video pre-recorded because I was going on a trip. Um, well, this is the, uh, the first video that I'm recording since this trip. Yeah, I have now gone on said trip, and I am now back, uh, in the homeland of the Friday Tobobbin. So you may be wondering, well, where did I go then? Well, I went to New York City. That is right. Your boy, Frank Tobobbin, uh, was in New York City for a whole eight days. Indeed. Um, yeah. Uh, I won't say much about the trip, though, because... I will have a massive video on that trip. Yep. Massive video uh, coming soon to the channel of my New York trip. Uh, I actually don't know when that video is going to be, though, because it's a monster. Like, I recorded so much footage on this trip. It's going to take me a while to get this whole thing edited and uploaded and everything. Yeah, the video, I don't know when it's going to be out. I'm going to try to get it out before the end of the month, but... Um, no promises. I don't know how long this is going to take. I, I, I actually haven't started, uh, working on that video yet as of the recording of this video. In fact, I'm literally recording this video the day after, uh, the day since actually getting back from New York. Uh, so I got this video out by the weekend. Uh, but yeah, New York, though, was a lot of fun. And, uh, the nurture video will be containing many different trains, such as the, uh, New York Subway, New Jersey Transit, Long Island Railroad, and Metro North Action. All packed into this video. Uh, I can't wait to share it with you guys. Um, so yeah. Like I said, I don't know when the video is coming out. I'm going to try to get it out as soon as I can. But we'll see what happens. Again, big video. Good to go while to make. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, here we are running by the uh, the coastline. Which might be the prettiest part of this route, actually. And this is actually realistic to real life. As the Amtrak Circle does run on a route. That, is, that does look a lot like this. Yeah. Let's go up a little bit faster here. It's been less 50 miles per hour, so, yeah. So, um... Otherwise, I don't have much to talk about in terms of news or anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess another thing with mentioning, um... I haven't checked since yesterday, I don't think, but I don't think a, uh, a new route came out over in, uh, Train Simulator 3. I forgot to check that before recording this video. Oh boy, I hope one didn't come out because I may have just made a massive mistake. Whoopsies. Ah, oh, well, you guys got Transmitter 2 last week. Or, or... My brain, man, it, it does not work right now. But yeah, you guys got Transmitter 3 last week, so here's a Transmitter 2 vi uh, video this week, and we'll have another Transmitter 3 video next week. That being said, I hope I didn't. Oh, that grass, that air is unpainted. That being said, I hope I didn't just decide to record a Transmitter 2 video when there's a new Transmitter 3 route. I'm going to look stupid. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, you know what? This is a pretty recently released a a recently released add-on. So, eh. I hope you guys are still interested in this one. Yeah, I'm going to take that after the recording of the video because, uh, oh, boy. I'm going to look like a massive buffoon. I, you know, I, you know I, before... I record these trains videos. I always check the uh, content store in Train Simulator 3 to check for any newly released routes. Uh, because, you know, with the way that, you know, with how this YouTube game works, I have to be the first one to make a video on the route. Also, we're, since we're now entering back into the city, this is Los Angeles, which actually looks pretty nice. Yeah. Yes. Look at this train. 
But yeah, I'm gonna look like a massive buffoon if it turns out that a new Train Simulator 3 route came out, and here I am doing a Train Simulator 2 video. Ah. And it's late tonight, so it's not like I can just go and record another video. Um. Yeah. Oh well, if a. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I hope it's better. Oh yeah, what's the board? All right. Oh, of course the light's right at the end of the station platform, so yay. Well, here on the uh, Los Angeles part, I guess, I'm about to get to the Aurora station. Pretty sure route all things considered. Yeah, you're, you're gonna get a lot of, well, I say get a lot. You're gonna be grabbing on the same sections a lot on this route. Well, you're approaching the station. Okay, I've come this far, so it's not uh, mess this up. Man, this easy thing is so weird, though. You're probably wondering why you're never driving realistic mode here in these uh, trains videos. I don't like it. the The problem with realistic mode is that it just it's so. It's not even it's not even realistic. It's just like. You know, you get constant wheel slippage, the brakes take forever to respond. It's I, I don't, it's not fun. I don't like driving wheel slippage in this in these trains games. I always like easy mode because it's well, it's easy. Yeah, I save the realistic driving though for like the more well, ironically more realistic uh, simulators like uh, you know, Train Sim Classic, Train Sim World, and Sim Rail. That's where I like to drive like as realistically as possible. Whereas here in trains, I like to drive, you know, I, I, it's, I take a more arcade style approach here with these trains games, because that's kind of what they are. They're more of an arcade type of train simulator. Alrighty, here we are at Aurora, and uh, yeah, I'm getting a bit tired now, so. Yeah, only once I have to go, though, so that's nice. Mm, you know, I might have been able to, I might have actually been able to record this video earlier today, but I kind of just want to just chill out on my computer for a while. Uh, since this is my uh, actually my first day back here at the house since getting back home from New York, so I'm just uh, chilling out, getting reacclimatized with being home, and uh, yeah, getting ready to get back to business as usual. Well, I said I'm already back to business as usual recording this video, so yeah. Alright, okay, I guess those skins are in kilometers. Oh, it is in miles. Oh, never mind. Alright. Hey, we're still in the United States of America. We should be using the uh, Imperial system. Ooh, speed of 60 miles per hour. Not sure if we'll actually go that fast, but let's see if we can. Oh yeah, one thing I almost forgot to mention, um, I do believe that this train is actually, is also a standalone add-on for Train Smart 2. I think, uh, some time ago, a couple weeks or something like that, I don't remember, this, this locomotive and these coaches actually released as a, uh, standalone add-on, uh, for the, uh, Exceeding Country USA route. But, honestly, if you really want this locomotive and coaches and whatever get it with this route it's better value oh yeah I almost forgot to mention the routes have cost uh four dollars which is mm, it's okay I guess it's not it's a little bit on the pricey side but it's not super expensive so yeah and I guess you do get a decent amount of rolling stock and a lot of building assets in this one as well so if you want to make a I guess if you want to make a much bigger version of this route, you, well, this is a pretty good place to start. Look at all the palm trees and other cool stuff here. And, yeah, I have to say this route 
It it does look nice. But yeah, you're just need to take a look at one of the more recent routes. Uh, this... Yeah, this route came out... Like I said, not too long ago. This was, um... I think this was even after I got my iPad Air 4, so I couldn't have gotten this my way back in the day, because this route didn't exist back then. Actually, you know what's funny? Back in 2016, uh, that's when these Siemens Charger locomotives were... Well, some of them were still in testing. Yeah, I think there was one, though, that did enter service pretty quickly, though, on the uh, Amtrak Midwest service um, in 2016. But, but yeah, 2016 was the year that these Siemens Charger locomotives broke onto the scene. And now they're just about everywhere. Yeah, Coasters got them. Uh, Amtrak used them on, you know, a number of services. And now they got the uh, long distance chargers as well. Yeah, I actually thought they were going to use the uh, SC44 chargers on the long distance trains, but no, they actually. Yeah, so basically, now I'm has two different types of charger. I guess they got the uh, SC44 chargers, which are going to be used on uh, short haul services, um, like the Surfliner. And you got the uh, ALC42 locomotives, the uh, Amtrak long distance chargers, which will be used on, well, the uh, long-distance trains. And we'll, of course, replace the uh, P-42 of the portals. I say that. I guess there were... I guess Amtrak is only replacing some of their P-42s. Like, some of them are going in return, but others, though, will be staying on Amtrak for a while longer. I mean, especially considering that they just painted, like, five of them in the, uh... in, uh, various special paint schemes to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Amtrak. And also, not too long ago, they repainted one in uh, Phase 4 as well. Yeah, that's kind of... That was kind of weird, though, by the way. Like, Amtrak had a uh, Phase 4 unit from the uh, 40th anniversary. But for some reason, they painted that logo back into Phase 5. But then they painted a different P-42 into the Amtrak Phase 4 livery. Why did they do that? That was kind of weird. Oh, that's a long... Uh... Oh, it's a flying train. I don't think they are that long in real life, though, so that is correct. Yeah. Maybe we're, we're, oh, Cokes is... Oh, the Cokes are broken. Also, in case you wonder what my opinion is on the uh, Church of Locomotives, um, I don't really have one, to be honest. I mean, I think they're cool, but one of the things worth mentioning about the team is Chargers is just their insane amount of reliability issues so hopefully Amtrak gets those all fixed up I think they are oh, the rest of the coach is just sitting in the station here oh here we are then at the uh, Los Angeles station in that's no, just called Los Angeles okay but yeah Los Angeles here to wrap up this service come on let's get up to the station so we can finish up and I can go to bed So yeah, uh, California Sunrise, it's okay, I guess. Well, there you go, then, to look at a more recent add-on here in uh, Frame Simulator 2. And yeah, so 5 out of 5 stars, a perfect run, oh yeah. Oh, didn't they say we were going to get announcements? I suppose they we never got the announcements. What a scam. All right. Well, there it is. A perfect score. There you go. So that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in whatever I make next.